Now, the virus that we're talking about having to do, you know, a lot of people think that goes away in April with the heat, as the heat comes in. Uh, typically, that will go away in April. We're in great shape, though. We have done an incredible job. We're going to continue. It's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Oh, God, for this group holding up the arm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. You know that, right? Coronavirus. It's all turning. They lost. It's all turning. Think of it. Think of it. And this is their new hoax. 35,000 people, on average, die each year from the flu. Did anyone know that? 35,000. That's a lot of people. And so far, we have lost nobody to coronavirus in the United States. Nobody. And it doesn't mean we won't. And we are totally prepared. It doesn't mean we won't. But think of it. You hear 35 and 40,000 people, and we've lost nobody. And you wonder, the press is in hysteria mode. At this moment, we have 22 patients in the United States currently that have coronavirus. Unfortunately, one person passed away overnight. Additional cases in the United States are likely. Is your message that, to Americans that it's safe to fly? And can you convince the traveling yeah, I think where that? these people are flying, it's safe to fly. And large portions of the world are very safe to fly. Are you concerned that the virus is getting close to the White House? No, I'm not concerned at all. No, I'm not. No, we've done a great job. How concerned are you? Well, we pretty much shut it down, coming in from China. Uh, we have a tremendous relationship with China, which is a very positive thing. Getting along with China, getting along with Russia, getting you, along with you these offered countries. the Chinese president help with the coronavirus? Oh, yeah. Well, no, we've, we're offering them tremendous help. We have the best in the world for that. We've done a tremendous job in many other instances also on that, even recently. Uh, no, no, we've offered China help. But we can't have thousands of people coming in who may have this problem, the coronavirus. So we're going to see what happens, but we did shut it down, yes. My fellow Americans, tonight I want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak that started in China and is now spreading throughout the world. Today, the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Our overriding goal is to stop the spread of the virus and to help all Americans who have been impacted by this. Uh, and this will pass. Uh, this will pass through, and uh, we're going to be uh, even stronger for it. We've learned a lot. I also took the test last night. Test. Yeah. And I decided I should, based on the press conference yesterday, people were asking that I take well, the test. The well, if you don't have to travel, I wouldn't do it. No, if you don't have travel. to travel, we want this thing to end. We don't want a lot of people getting infected. We want it to end and end as quickly as possible. The flu in our country kills from 25,000 people to 69,000 people a year. That was shocking to me. And uh, so far, if you look at what we have with the 15 people, and they're recovering, one is, uh, one is uh, pretty sick, but uh, hopefully will recover. And again, when you have 15 people, and the 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero, uh, that's a pretty good job we've done. I also took the test last night, yeah. And I decided I should, based on the press conference yesterday, people were asking that I take the test. Well, if you don't have to travel, I wouldn't do it. If you don't have to travel, we want this thing to end. We don't want a lot of people getting infected. We want it to end and end as quickly as possible. We've made the decision to further toughen the guidelines and blunt the infection now. We'd much rather be ahead of the curve than behind it, and that's what we are. Therefore, my administration is recommending that all Americans, including the young and healthy, work to engage in schooling from home when possible, avoid gathering in groups of more than 10 people, avoid discretionary travel, and avoid eating and drinking at bars, restaurants, 
and public food courts. And I'd like to just ask and uh, caution that the media, we would respectfully ask the media and politicians and everybody else involved not do anything to incite a panic, because there's no reason to panic at all. Uh, this is something that is being handled professionally. Mm -hmm. And I haven't touched my face in weeks. <laughs> in weeks. Mr. President, I miss it. Uh, we have right. a report today, the global death rate at 3.4 percent, and a report that the Olympics could be delayed. Your reaction to that? Well, I think the 3.4 percent is really a false number. Now, this is just my hunch. And uh, but based on a lot of conversations with a lot of people that do this, because a lot of people will have this and it's very mild. Well, actually, we're giving, I think, really given tremendous marks. Uh, you look at Gallup poll, you look at other polls for the way we've handled it. And uh, one of the things I did is I closed down the borders to China. Anybody right now and yesterday, anybody that needs a test gets a test. We, they're there. They have the tests. And the tests are beautiful. It will go away. Just stay calm. It will go away. We want to protect our shipping industry, our cruise uh, industry, cruise ships. Uh, we want to protect our airline industry. Very important. Uh, but everybody has to be vigilant and has to be careful. But be calm. It's really working out. The numbers from a week ago were great. And from two days ago were great. But now we're hitting a patch. And what is the, the number as of this morning? Is it 32? You could tell me. Is it 32 deaths? Steve, around that. I mean, think of it, the United States, because of what I did and what the administration did with China, we have 32 deaths at this point. Other countries that are smaller countries have many, many deaths. 32 is a lot. 32 is too many. But when you look at the kind of uh, numbers that you're seeing coming out of other com countries, it's pretty amazing when you think of it. Doctors have but said I you can might tell have you, it even if you don't have symptoms. Well, Are you being selfish by not getting tested and potentially Well, I didn't say I wasn't going to be tested. Are you going to be? Uh, most likely, yeah. Most when likely. Do you think not for that happen? reason, but because I think I will do it anyway. Uh, will you let us fairly know the soon. Results? We're working on that. We're working out a schedule. I also took the test you last night. Yeah. yeah. And I decided I should, based on the press conference yesterday, people were asking that I take the test. The result, I don't know whatever it takes, a day or two days. Mm -hmm. but because it almost becomes a habit, and you get out of that habit. And frankly, I was a non-handshaker for the most part. I never believed that shaking hands, once you become a politician, and I notice it too. Uh, political people walk up to me, they want to shake my hand. I said, well, uh, was you know, was message, message, sir? just wait a minute, wait a minute. Just take it nice and easy, okay? Just relax. Uh, and on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the response to this crisis? I'd rate it a 10. I think we've done a great job. And it started with the fact that we kept a very highly infected country, despite all of the, even the professionals, uh, saying, no, it's too early to do that. We were very, very early with respect to China. And we would have a whole different situation in this country if we didn't do that. We have a problem that a month ago nobody ever thought about. Nobody in the, you know, I've read about it. I read about uh, many years ago, 1917, 1918. I've seen all of the different, uh, the different problems. And I agree with the doctor what he said. May work, may not work. Uh, I feel good about it. Uh, let's see what happens. We have nothing to lose. You know the expression? What the hell do you have to lose? What do you say the Americans were scared, though? I guess nearly 200 dead. 14,000 who are sick, millions, as you witnessed, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. Go ahead. I think it's a very nasty question, and I think it's a very bad signal that you're putting out to the American people. The American people are looking for answers, and they're looking for hope. And you're doing sensationalism. And uh, the same with NBC and Comcast. So I don't call it, I don't call it Comcast. I call it Comcast. Let me just tell for whom you work. Let me just tell you something. That's really bad reporting. And you ought to get back to reporting instead of sensationalism. Let's see if it works. It might and it might not. I happen to feel good about it, but who knows? I've been right a lot. 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 I've been right a lot.
Let's see what happens.